Hola amigos, ¿qué tal? El día de hoy, antes de comenzar la práctica, me gustaría compartirles una buena noticia. Muchos de ustedes nos habían sugerido que incluyéramos clases en vivo en nuestro curso, y así lo hemos hecho. Ahora en nuestro curso haremos reuniones semanales grupales con las cuales estaremos tocando diferentes temas de la ciudadanía. Haremos clases de motivación, haremos clases para aclarar preguntas, tendremos invitados especiales, nos dedicaremos a estudiar y darles tips y consejos de cada uno de los módulos. Estas reuniones, como les digo, lo haremos grupales y son exclusivas para las personas que tienen nuestro curso. También hemos agregado al curso un foro que se llama We the People, en el cual ustedes podrán entrar a poner sus fotos, videos, podrán compartir información y nosotros le estaremos dando actualizaciones de todo lo que está pasando en el proceso de ciudadanía y también le estaremos motivando y poniendo tips y consejos. Entonces, rápidamente, ¿qué es lo que tiene el curso? Tiene más de 50 videos que están repartidos entre clases y prácticas en un orden específico. Te llevamos en un orden en el cual se te va a hacer fácil digerir la información del proceso de ciudadanía para que es bien preparado. En cada una de las clases podrás dejar tus comentarios, tus preguntas, en las cuales estaremos contestando en menos de 24 horas. También te daremos un número de apoyo con el cual nos puedes enviar preguntas por medio de WhatsApp, por email, como tú lo decidas. Cada una de las clases puedes descargar audios y transcripciones para que tú puedas seguir estudiando y practicando a tus tiempos. El curso, recuerda, lo puedes estudiar a tu propio ritmo y a tus propios tiempos sin importar tu nivel de inglés. Lo puedes estudiar desde tu teléfono, desde tu tablet o tu computadora. Y lo mejor, al ser un curso digital, lo puedes empezar a estudiar desde el momento que haces la compra. Entonces, ya sabes, si gustaría tener la mejor preparación para el día de tu entrevista, ahí está nuestro curso, nuestra página Cursos con Fernando. ¿Qué te parece si el día de hoy hacemos una práctica para ver qué tan preparado estás para tu entrevista? Esta es una práctica de nivel avanzado, pero sin duda esto te ayudará a ver qué es lo que te hace falta y qué es lo que debes de estudiar. Recuerda que lo que se mide se puede mejorar. Si encuentras que este video te resulta útil, recuerda dejarnos tu like, suscríbete para que no te pierdas ninguno de nuestros videos en el futuro. ¿Qué te parece pues si vamos a practicar? Hi, my name is Officer Guardado and today I will be conducting your citizenship interview. Can you please raise your right hand? Do you swear and affirm that the statements you will give and provide today will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Thank you. You can put your hand down and you can take a seat. Can I see your appointment letter, please? Just hold it up so that I can see it. Okay. Can I see your permanent resident card, your passports, and a valid ID, please? Again, just hold them up so that I can see them. You can put them away now. Now I will be taking your fingerprints. Please place your right index finger on the fingerprint scanner. Now your left index finger on the fingerprint scanner. Now I will need to take your picture. Please pay attention to the camera in front of you. One, two, three. Great. What is your full legal name? What other names have you gone by? Will you be changing your name? Can I have your name as you would like it to be? What is your height and your weight? What is your social security number? When were you born? How
How long have you been a permanent resident? How did you get your permanent residency? Are your parents U.S. citizens? Were your parents married before your 18th birthday? Are you married, single, or divorced? What is your spouse's full legal name? Is your spouse a U.S. citizen? How long have you been married? How many times have you been married? Have you ever been divorced? What is your address? Can you spell the name of the street? How long have you lived at this address? Who lives with you? What is your previous address? Why did you move? Do you have children? How many children do you have? Are they your biological children? Were your children born in the United States? What do you do for work? What is the last date that you traveled out of the United States? Where did you travel to? Who traveled with you? How long was this trip for? How many total trips have you taken out of the United States in the last five years? How many total days have you spent outside of the United States in the last five years? What is one thing you plan on doing if you become a U.S. citizen? Okay, great. Now we are going to do the civics questions. I'm going to ask you 10 questions. You will need to answer six of them correctly. What are two ways that Americans can participate in their democracy?
Name one American Indian tribe in the United States. Under our Constitution, some powers belong to the states. What is one power of the states? Who was president during World War I? When do we celebrate Independence Day? What are the two parts of the U.S. Congress? If the president can no longer serve, who becomes president? What is the highest court in the United States? When was the Constitution written? What is one right or freedom from the First Amendment? Okay, now we are going to do the reading and writing part of the interview. Please pay attention to the tablet in front of you. You are going to see a sentence on the screen. Please read the following sentence out loud. Now on the same tablet, please write the following sentence. Lincoln was the president during the Civil War. Lincoln was the president during the Civil War. Lincoln was the president during the Civil War. Okay, great. You uh, passed both parts of the interview, the civics test and the reading and writing part of the interview. Now I will need you to answer yes or no to the following questions. Have you ever claimed to be a U.S. citizen in writing or any other way? Have you ever registered to vote in any federal, state, or local election in the United States? Have you ever voted in any federal, state, or local election in the United States? Why not? Why have you never voted in the United States? Okay. Do you now have or did you ever have a hereditary title or an order of nobility in any foreign country? Have you ever been declared legally incompetent or been confined to a mental institution? Do you owe any overdue federal, state, or local taxes? Have you ever not filed a federal, state, or local tax return since you became a lawful permanent resident? Have you ever called yourself a non-U.S. resident on a federal, state, or local tax return since you became a lawful permanent resident? When you file your taxes, do you usually file them single or jointly? And when you file your taxes, do you have to pay taxes or do you receive a refund? When was the last time that you filed your taxes? Can I please see your latest tax documents, please?
Okay, you can put them away now. Have you ever been a member of, involved in, or in any way associated with any organization, association, fund, foundation, party, club, society, or similar group in the United States or in any other location in the world? Have you ever been a member of or in any way associated with the Communist Party? Any other totalitarian party? A terrorist organization? Can you tell me what communism is? Have you ever advocated the overthrow of any government by force or violence? Have you ever persecuted any person because of race, religion, national origin, membership in a particular social group or political opinion? Between March 23, 1933 and May 8, 1945, did you work for or associate in any way with the Nazi government of Germany? Were you ever involved in any way with any of the following? I'm going to read you a list of qu uh, questions. Just answer at the end, yes or no. Genocide, torture, killing or trying to kill someone, badly hurting or trying to hurt a person on purpose, forcing or trying to force someone to have any kind of sexual contact or relations, not letting someone practice his or her religion. That's no to all of them. Were you ever a member of, or did you ever serve in, help, or otherwise participate in any of the following groups? Military unit, paramilitary unit, police unit, self-defense unit, vigilante unit, rebel group, guerrilla group, militia, insurgent organization. Can you tell me what a militia is? Were you ever a worker, volunteer, or soldier, or did you otherwise ever serve in any of the following? Prison or jail, prison camp, detention facility, labor camp, any other place where people were forced to stay. Were you ever a part of any group, or did you ever help any group, unit, or organization that used a weapon against any person or threatened to do so? Did you ever sell, give, or provide weapons to any person or help another person sell, give, or provide weapons to any person? Did you ever receive any type of military, paramilitary, or weapons training? Did you ever recruit, enlist, conscript, or use any person under 15 years of age to serve in or help an armed force or group? Did you ever use any person under 15 years of age to do anything that helped or supported people in combat? Have you ever committed, assisted in committing, or attempted to commit a crime or offense for which you were not arrested? Can I please see the tickets or citations and proof that you paid them? Okay, you can put them away now. Have you ever been arrested, cited, or detained by any law enforcement officer for any reason? Have you ever been charged with committing, attempting to commit, or assisting in committing a crime or offense? Have you ever been convicted of a crime or offense? Have you ever been placed in an alternative sentencing or a rehabilitative program? Have you ever received a suspended sentence, been placed on probation, or been paroled? Have you ever been in jail or prison?
Have you ever been a habitual drunkard? Have you ever been a prostitute or procured anyone for prostitution? Sold or smuggled controlled substances, illegal drugs or narcotics? Been married to more than one person at the same time? Married someone in order to obtain an immigration benefit? Helped anyone to enter or try to enter the United States illegally? Gambled illegally or received income from illegal gambling? Failed to support your dependents or to pay alimony? Made any misrepresentation to obtain any public benefit in the United States? Can you tell me what a habitual drunkard is? Have you ever given any U.S. government officials any information or documentation that was false, fraudulent, or misleading? Have you ever lied to any U.S. government officials to gain entry or admission into the United States or to gain immigration benefits while in the United States? Have you ever been removed, excluded, or deported from the United States? Have you ever been ordered, removed, excluded, or deported from the United States? Have you ever been placed in removal, exclusion, rescission, or deportation proceedings? Are removal, exclusion, rescission, or deportation proceedings currently pending against you? Can you explain to me what deportation is? Okay. Have you ever served in the U.S. Armed Forces? Do you support the Constitution and form of government of the United States? Do you understand the full oath of allegiance to the United States? And what is an oath of allegiance? Are you willing to take the full oath of allegiance to the United States? If the law requires it, are you willing to bear arms on behalf of the United States? If the law requires it, are you willing to perform non-combatant services in the U.S. Armed Forces? If the law requires it, are you willing to perform work of national importance under civilian direction? Okay, great. At this time, I am going to recommend your application as approved. Congratulations. ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo te fue con el video del día de hoy? Espero que te haya resultado útil. Recuerda que si te resultó siquiera un poco de utilidad, regálanos tu like, es bien importante. Este like ayuda a que otras personas reciban este tipo de información y también puedan lograr su meta así como tú la quieres lograr. Recuerda que si te gustaría llegar lo mejor preparado para el día de tu entrevista, ahí tenemos nuestro curso disponible en nuestra página cursosconfernando.com. Este curso te va a dar la seguridad y el orden de trabajo para que llegues bien preparado para ese día tan importante. Si tienes tu entrevista esta semana, te deseamos mucha suerte. Si no la tienes aún, sigamos trabajando todos juntos para que logres tu meta. Nos vemos pues en el próximo video. Chao.